For well over a century, people have been writing songs about Santa Cruz County, California. The county songbook is filled with dozens of tunes describing the region's people, places, and events. In the summer of 1895, and again in 1896, the San Lorenzo River played host to the famed Venetian water carnivals. There were floats, boat races, concerts, and historical reenactments. This song was written for the 1895 carnival. We're at the Carmelita Cottages, a collection of 19th century homes that is now a city park and hostel. This particular house was the residence of Henry Thompson and his wife Lottie Thompson. Henry was trained as an opera singer in Italy and afterwards moved back to his native Santa Cruz and lived here with his wife and gave music lessons and performed. How do you do, kind friends, this evening? I would surely like to know. For if you are feeling poorly, why perhaps you'd better go. You must be strong to hear my singing. If you're ill, please be discreet. You can go, though, if you want to. Then I'll give the rest a treat. Then I'll give the rest a treat. Ah, I sing like Enrico Tommaso. I'm ten. I'm buried on a soul. People all cry as I'm passing by. <sighs> that fellow can out sing to my soul. We are at the Apple exhibit at the Agricultural History Project in Watsonville. In the early 1900s, the Pajaro Valley was the largest apple producing area in the world. As many as five to six million boxes of apples were packed and shipped annually. From 1910 to 1913, a special fair was held, and it was called the Apple Annual. This song was written for the 1913 Apple Annual. Thank you. 
In the 1920s, Live Oak was a major egg-producing and bulb-growing area. For the Farm Bureau picnic of 1921, Mary Macy put new words to a familiar tune. Okay. Elmer McHugh wrote Santa Cruz Every Day in the Year in 1922, and the lyric is Every Day in the Year Roses Bloom in Santa Cruz. Of course, at the time, Santa Cruz had a, a major flower industry, and it was a popular thing for people to want to send back east postcards of flower-filled gardens in Santa Cruz called Winter in Santa Cruz, just to make people jealous. Clayton came to Santa Cruz in the 1920s. She taught piano and organ here for about 50 years and she was also a performer and a composer. Here at the Museum of Art and History we have about 13 of her scrapbooks that chronicle the musical events in Santa Cruz from the 1920s to the 1950s. We also have this portrait by Sybil Huntington of Vera Clayton as a young woman at her piano. Floating down the San Lorenzo River With my little sweetheart at my side Lived in the sunset golden haze Waiting the bright moon silvery rays Then I hold you close And I'll steal the kids 
was preserved as a park in 1902, making it the oldest state park in California. For over a century, these magnificent redwoods have inspired artists, writers, photographers, and poets. In fact, it was an artist, Andrew P. Hill, who led the effort to protect this grove of giant trees from the logger's axe. Back in the 1920s, when this song about Big Basin was written, families would camp here for weeks or even months during the summer. The park had more of a resort atmosphere back then, with a dance floor, tennis court, swimming pool, and restaurants. This song was originally entitled Santa Cruz. It was written in 1965, and one of the composers invited me over to their house uh, near where I live in order to hear her perform it. And she asked what I thought, and I said, the music is excellent, it's so romantic, but the lyrics are more of a laundry list of things to do in Santa Cruz, and they don't quite match the emotional appeal of the music. And she says, well, you know, we were thinking that too. Could you write uh, a set of lyrics as an alternative? So with her permission, I uh, created my own set and delivered them to her, calling the song My Hearts in Santa Cruz.
Down in Santa Cruz was composed by Santa Cruz residents Irene and Fred Road. Unable to interest commercial publishers, Fred Road published the song himself, both as sheet music and a record. He marketed them to band leaders and radio stations up and down California. Although never the big hit he was hoping for, the song helped promote Santa Cruz in the early 1950s. Robbing sea that rushed us thrilled. That's where I first met you. Down in Santa Cruz, a heart of beauty by the sea still holds my fairest memory. That's why I'll never lose dreams of Santa Cruz. Gay colored casino nights. Burning through the misty night Set our hearts to flame the night you came to me Then while I held you close to me I lost my heart down by the sea And it will always be Down in Santa Cruz J.V. Enquist wrote this in 1901 as a brass band uh, piece, and it, it's really quality music. However, you can tell by the chirping that goes all through it that when he named it El Pajaro March, he was not thinking of the uh, condor after which the valley was named, but rather a songbird. So that's a unique uh, element of this, uh, this song. Hear that melody sublime. Tweet, 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 tweet. There's a pomegranate over time. Tweet, 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 tweet. Then hear tweet, 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 tweet. As the mountains in reply, echo back to clear and high through the sunny valley sky. Tweet, 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 tweet. 